The DA tells me this is part three of a two-year investigation where women are brought in from overseas and forced into sex labor. And neighbors say they had no idea what was happening in their apartment complexes. Prosecutors say the latest suspects, David Davies and Larong Hugh, used websites like the now shuttered Backpage.com and their own site called City Vibe to lure men. They say the women were trafficked in from overseas and had their passports taken away. They've also been told that they will not be paid if they try to leave early. These women are forced to have sex between 10 and 15 men a day. They come in in half an hour intervals. They're called residential brothels. Prosecutors say the suspects used several units in this high-end complex in Milpitas. One tenant says rent can run from four to five thousand dollars per month. Next door are high-tech giants KLA Tencor and Cisco Systems. It's terrible that us around here. It's good to know though, and I'm glad the police are going to do something about it. I mean, we got to be safe around here nowadays. The prosecutor says this is part of a wide national network of residential brothels, and these are the 19th and 20th arrests in the Silicon Valley investigation, an investigation that has identified 15 such local brothels so far. Davies and Hugh are named as leaders in that operation that rotated more than 100 sex workers through cities across the nation every week. We believe this has been happening to dozens and dozens of women over the last six years. The South Bay Coalition to End Human Trafficking says it's sometimes hard to detect residential brothels in high-density apartments. You can have a number of people coming in and out and neighbors won't really notice. Um, so that is something that we're seeing as an increasing trend around the Bay Area and around the state generally. The prosecutor says he will keep working to shut down more brothels and perhaps save more victims. At the Hall of Justice, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.